We're a little ways into the season now and we've seen so much talent on display already. So I thought it was about time to take a look at the 10 top college volleyball liberos in 2021. I'm Michaela Chester with NCAA Digital. This one was not easy as defensive stats can be skewed due to numerous factors, but I capped the list at 10 and took a look at the top liberos to watch out for on ranked teams this year. To start out, we've got the OG CC McGraw from Minnesota. She of course makes a list and has been one of the top liberos in the nation for the past few years. The 2019 All-American is currently averaging 4.82 digs per set on a gopher team that has one of the toughest schedules in the country. She just posted 32 digs in a win over Michigan. Next, we've got Abby Bottomley at Creighton. Her numbers blow me away. First of all, she's averaging 5.71 digs per set. That is fifth in the nation on a ranked team that is off to its best start ever. I mean, it's a team that swept the reigning champs. She's been named to multiple all-tournament teams this year. She is a 16-time Conference Defensive Player of the Week, including two in the Big East. She was the Big South Player of the Year in the spring of 2021 as a libero and is second nationally among active players with 2,383 career digs. This list of accolades is long. Hats off to Abby Bottomley. We've got Elena Oglevy at Stanford, who's done a phenomenal job as the Cardinal Libero this year. She's averaging 4.68 digs per set. She has won Pac-12 Defensive Player of the Week, and she too is playing one of the toughest schedules in the nation this year. Kylie Murr at Ohio State is next, 4.74 digs per set. She led the Big Ten, one of the toughest conferences in volleyball, as a freshman in 2019 in digs and digs per set. She also set the Ohio State single season program records for those stats in the same year as Ohio State excelled as a volleyball program. Next, there's Elena Scott at Louisville as the Cardinals are in the midst of one of their most successful seasons ever. She's just a freshman this year and is anchoring a top three undefeated team with 4.15 digs per set. This is also for one of the top blocking teams in the nation, which should naturally lower her numbers, but she's still up there. At Wisconsin, Lauren Barnes is back this season after earning the highest All-American honor of any libero last season when her team made it back to the national semifinals. Her numbers are slightly lower this year, but those aren't the end-all be-all. Barnes has proved herself enough to make this list. At Purdue, we have another 2020 All-American that returned this season in Jenna Otek. Last year, she was Big Ten Defensive Player of the Year. So yes, she's one of the top liberos in the nation. Otek is averaging 4.17 digs per set for the Boilermakers that are ranked in the top four this season. We've got three more, and yes, we've got Nalani Yosia at Texas on this list. Texas has an incredible block, but Yosia still averages four digs per set and anchors a great defense for the top-ranked Longhorns. She stepped into some big shoes this year and is performing great. Over in the Pac-12, another libero makes the list with Zoe Fleck at UCLA, who has plenty of accolades as well. She earned Pac-12 Conference Libero of the Year and ABCA Honorable Mention All-American last season. This year, she is averaging just over four digs per set. And lastly, Brenna Deluzio at Colorado, who is second highest on this list in digs per set with 4.85 and has won Pac-12 Defensive Player of the Week this year. Colorado just upset Utah in a straight sweep. Teluzio posted 18 digs in the win. So that is the top 10 college volleyball liberos this year. Of course, there are plenty more. Lexi Rodriguez is paving her way at Nebraska to be an unbelievable four-year libero for them. Ellie McKissick at Florida, and many, many more.